Hello friends from our family cabin here on the beach in Alaska. We're still bundled up. It is mid-June and we are still not having very many warm days around here. The entire drive yesterday we were around 45 to 48 degrees. It's no different here. The sun is trying to come out. We're still making the most of it. We're gonna bring you along for our food and a little bit of our fun here at the cabin over the next couple days. Woo! It looks like a halibut swimming. I need to walk back. In case you are new around here, this cabin was built in 1979 by my in-laws and two other partners. Over the years, the other partners lost interest in the cabin and sold their shares to my in-laws. My husband grew up coming to this cabin with his family and it holds a very special place in his heart. It is now a favorite place for our family to come and make lots of memories of our own. We come to unplug, fish, eat together, explore, swim, and spend time in the great outdoors. We make sure to block off several weeks every summer to come and enjoy cabin time and hope you enjoy getting a little glimpse into the magic of this Alaska beachfront cabin. This morning, Hunter and I went fishing and we're out in the salt water and we got this, our first two king salmon of the year. This is a regular king, small one, and that's a jack king. So uh, we're gonna be eating these the next day or so. I gotta flay them up and get them on ice. Always love eating the first king salmon of the year. It's so good. Holy cow. Holy cow. Cleaning that, cleaning that fish, all of a sudden I got dive bombed by this kite. Okay, you ready? Are we should wait for some wind. Go, go, nice! Not over the trees! All right, there we go. I gotta clean this up a little bit, but a little bit rusty after a whole winter's worth of not cleaning fish. So here's our fish. We got two flays of the small jack. This is a smaller king salmon. I'm gonna grill that up. Man, that looks good. All right, time to feed the eagle. We'll we got our head and our carcasses, backbone here. We'll throw those out. Oh, he got the head. Smells really good out here. We're having chicken, pineapple, sausages for lunch. Yum yum. After eating lunch, we decided to head over to the town of Seldovia for some different afternoon activities. Forget me nots, the Alaska state flower. First up, the Department of Fish and Game came over with their fish school bus on the ferry to bring a salmon truck. They're releasing salmon. So they have grown baby salmon in a hatchery. What you see going through this is water and tons of little inch and a half long baby salmon going down this tube and shooting into the water. It was really exciting to watch and just every time they would fly out and the fish were just jumping all over the place. It was a very fun sight to see.
Next, while Hunter and Mark did a little bit of fishing, we went on the Otterbahn Trail. This is a hike here in Soldovia. We did about a mile and a half hike to a beach where we like to look for sea glass. It is a beautiful hike. We were out of the wind for the most part through the hike, and we were really excited when we found the beach. We made it. It's very windy, but we made it. This is a good beach for getting sea glass, so we're gonna see if we can find some. My bag of sea glass. Found a hundred pieces or so. Oh, relaxing like this just like takes on a whole new level because there's you just are. You're just here. You're not worrying about all the things you gotta get done. You're just here. Just so grateful for some sunshine. So grateful when the sun shines, decides to come out. Back at the harbor, a little sea otter was putting on a show for us. We were watching it as it was swimming underneath the dock. Always fun to see sea otters. Mark and Hunter had a successful fishing trip. So with a few more salmon in tow, we are heading back to the cabin for dinner time. We're gonna have some of this nice fresh salmon for dinner. Everett was very intent the other day on gathering some blue mussels down on the beach and he said, I want to eat these. So he just helped me put them in this pot and we're going to steam these for a little appetizer. Hey Everett, come on, come help me light the stove. He was talking about it the whole time we were on that beach after our he? hike. He was, he had me open one up and he said, this is a preview of what we're going to have for dinner. <laughs> All right. Hey Everett, you got to help. So I want to show you how much. Okay, so Burning that. Can you hold that up for me? Yeah. This one is done. That. And this one needs to cook a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Kind of miss it. You gotta get a fish can for him. What what rub is this? Just the one your mom makes. Oh yum. What do you think of the muscle? 10 out of 10. Did you fly wow. back home here? No. 10 out of 10. So Mark and Hunter had a fishing adventure today. Got some fish. So this one, when I speared it, it went right into the spine and just totally immobilized it. Because if not, they can fight like crazy and you're down underwater like trying to pull them in and have a stab them with a knife. So this was just awesome. Yeah. Shot them, it was like, dunk, they just, The boys want to have a fire on the beach tonight. We're gonna make some campfire pies. The rhubarb here is finally ready. So I'm gonna make some rhubarb pie filling.
Three years old. Some sugar. So good. Sour, sweet, tangy, so yummy. You guys are playing a squid game? These little campfire pies are something we make only at the cabin. I think they will be a core memory for my kids as they grow up because they love them so much. We make them with whatever fruit we have in season at the cabin. Is there a food that has a memory attached to it for you? Like something you ate at your grandma's house or things like that? Tell me down in the comments because that is what these little campfire pies mean to us. After about five to seven minutes on the coals, these are cooked perfection. Sometimes they get burned. I was able to make a perfect one this time. And then I just kept making them because I have so much fun making them. You know, when you just like enjoying it, the kids can make them on their own, but I was enjoying being the one to make them. Bennett was making some as well. And we were playing a fun game of charades at the same time. Oh, he's working on no. the railroad. Running down. Coming Is this down. an animal? Dad, you're singing. Oh, Caction, you're, you're just, you're, you're dancing at a church dance. Drive it. Paddling, rowing Are you a boogie robot? Rowing a boat and fishing. Is there any other type of rhubarb? I don't know. Ooh, Barbie and... I don't know if there's enough to have, we might be able to split some. Well, friends, it's after 10 o'clock at night. We're trying to get the family through the shower house, but this is what it looks like at 10 o'clock at night. You see why it's hard to get our kids to go to bed? You just lose all track of time. If you're not like constantly looking at your phone, which my phone's upstairs, I haven't looked at it for a long time, you forget what time it is because it's just so deceiving. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm off to take a shower and then we're gonna try and get everybody to bed. Right now we're packaging and cutting up the salmon and putting it in some freezer bag. We're gonna take it across to uh, get it frozen in town and uh, so we can go get some more fish. And this is, this is the salmon that we eat most of the winter. These uh, kings and reds that we catch down here. So getting all packaged up. Trying to put the skin side on the outside so that if you get any freezer burn, it kind of takes it in there and then I'll get them ready to get sealed up. So as I'm getting these ready to package, I just clean up any little bits that we miss. Like here was a bone that we kind of left on the fillet. So cutting that off, put that in scraps and uh, making sure everything's ready to eat. Man, these are nice fillets there. Look at that, see how big they are. Looking at these packages here, I got a little hole right here on this fillet and it, my finger goes all the way through. That's where my spear went in on uh, 
uh, this one that I speared. So otherwise didn't damage the filet at all. It's clean around it. So we'll be able to package that up. Didn't damage any meat. Went right through there, right into the brain and killed it almost instantly. Our time at the cabin is always full of adventures, exploring new places and looking for treasures. Here is just a glimpse into some of the fun we had over the next few days. We went to Outside Beach and Mark and Hunter suited up and went fishing and diving for a little while and had a lot of fun. While they were out diving, we had our own adventures on the beach and found sand dollars. Now we can't spend all our time outside, so we gotta come in and warm up. This honey citron and ginger tea is perfect for that. And we ended up doing a lot of coloring on this trip too, which was really fun. I hadn't colored for an extremely long time. The weather didn't really improve throughout the week, but that didn't stop us. We still got outside, had fun. There were things that needed to get done. Even if the sun wasn't shining, you know us, we get outside. After a few days at the cabin, Mark's parents joined us, so it was fun to get to spend time with them. And the kids decided to do a polar plunge, even though it was freezing. Go over it! <laughs> Yep, you did. You got to shut your mouth, but good job. You did it. Way to go, bud. Yeah, That's tough. you did the polar plunge. Yoo-hoo. Okay, do it. Ready? I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> Captain Everett. Dun, 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 dun. Taking a walk with Jossie and Grandma and Weston. The neighbors have an amazing rhubarb patch. I want to take some rhubarb home. Whoa. That's just huge. Oh my. <laughs> no, no, that been... yeah, most of that rhubarb we have over at the cabin is green, but these are just so red. Whoa, that's a big one. <laughs> oh, you can like use it. <laughs> Okay, chop it off. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Good morning, friends. It's an exciting morning. This is the first time this whole summer that the tide has been low enough for us to go tide pooling, look for an octopus. We love to eat octopus. It's just one of our favorite things. The tide is going down. We're about 15 minutes before low tide, maybe a little bit more than that. Let's see. Yeah, we're about 30 minutes before low tide. So we gotta go see what we can find. There's all sorts of treasures on the beach. All right, come on, guys. Usually that whole bay in front of us is underwater. It has been pretty much the whole trip, but today we have low tide and we're lucky. It's not too early. Yesterday's was kind of low, but it was at like 6.30 in the morning. So start exploring. Small one. Right, so good though. 
I found the hole that we put them. Uh, uh, I think I won a competition. Everett this found the smallest eel I've ever found. Look how small this is. Hmm? Uh, Let me see. It's sea clear. Oh wow, uh, it is. Uh, it's like a little dress. Yes. Yeah, I found one this small. It? Touch the it's fun to like have the suction just touch one of them. Look at, Look at this little tiny fish That was fast. That was really fast. Stop, he's trying to make a narrow den. No, he's not. Look, he's spreading out. Does he have all his tentacles? Yeah. Oh, they're so fascinating. He's going that way. <laughs> There's no rocks that way. That way. Here, Bennett, let me show, see the bottom of it. Oh, Yay, we found that. Now we can just go find cool stuff. Yay. Yo. Can I do more? It's not as low tide as. No, it's not okay. super low, but it's was low enough to find the octopus. Octopus. We found one. Oh, there Oh, this is the discovery bucket. The discovery bucket. Ooh, 100 pounds of eel. Oh, we need water. I'll go get some water. Yeah, put some water in it. Yeah, put it in the bucket. We'll go look it up. Ooh, yeah. Good find. Put it in the discovery bucket. Put it in the discovery bucket. All right. What is that? It's just a thick, thick oh, worm. Sort of worm. Discovery bucket! I think you can... Are they all going to start fighting each other? Oh, the crab. That's a feisty crab. It's that <laughs> lemon peel, I think. I just found a sand dollar. I just found them. When they're here, they're still alive, so they're more of like a brown color. Hmm? I'm a sand dollar. I'm not going to pick it up. Where? 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 Here's an octopus den. We found the octopus. Ooh, let's put this in a bucket. It's a hermit crab. We found an octopus den. We might be in there. The water. Yeah, this is definitely in the den. Where's the back door? <laughs> oh, maybe the... Oh! Harassment! <laughs> maybe it was going to eat that one. Harassment! <laughs> that one's having a hard time getting its walking legs. Gotta go fast. Bye! This crab had this little crab. I'm, like it was protecting him. it. Let's but move. we don't know. Him. Oh, you found a sea star? Good find. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a nice one. I found them when I'm not diving on rocks, but they're like this big. Oh, how cool. So much to see. Whole new world. The natives often said when the tide goes out, it, you're ringing the dinner bell. So many things that they could eat when the tide went out. Well, we did our exploring for the morning. Now I'm gonna go feed some hungry kids back up in the cabin. I had it on, but it was getting too hot, so I had to turn it off. Hunter, will you come and get some plates and then get the... It takes a lot of planning to bring food to the cabin. There is a grocery store in town, but to get groceries here is very expensive. So we try and bring everything we need for our meals and we go through a lot of food. As you can see, they were coming and taking the French toast as quickly as I could make them. We really enjoy eating at the cabin as a family and it's just a fun part of the experience spending time together. So let's look at some of the amazing meals we shared together while here at the cabin. Today for lunch, we're doing gyros. You just do those things slowly over time when it needs it. Lunch. 
material free? On another day, I used the leftover pitas to make little personal pizzas and we cooked them on the grill. I had the grill on too hot, I burnt a bunch, but oh well, this was just an appetizer. We had some leftover of this kind of stale French bread, so I'm going to try this now. <laughs> Oh, wow. Here you go. Here's a plate if you need to put that on. I would like that plate packed with more of those. That looks good. Looks I'm gonna try it. Needed to use up this bread anyways. All right, we had a success. These are very tasty and crunchy. Yum. All right, today's lunch is quesadillas, chicken tortilla soup, quesadillas. We're going to heat up these leftovers from last night's dinner. Salsa. The last of our chips. Can you go down and get some of that guacamole? Sure. We're going to use these canned biscuits, mini biscuits, and make some donuts. I could easily make these donuts when we are at home, but I only make them when we are at the cabin because it just makes them extra special. I fry them up in a little bit of oil, add cinnamon and sugar, Everybody loves them. All right, another dinner. We're having a beautiful filet of salmon, stir fry, and rice. Chopping up some veggies. Okay, let's check on this filet. So this. This is one filet that fills up this entire grill. This is from a king salmon that Bennett caught last night. I'm trying to get some of this juice. We're using a teriyaki seasoning. Turn this up here on the... Careful, Everett. You should get some shoes on, buddy. It's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna have to check on this fish. Ooh, that is looking good. Oh yeah, that's done there. How is it down there? A little bit more in the center. Oh. These veggies turned out awesome. They kind of taste like an egg roll. All that extra cabbage. I added the whole cabbage just to make sure it goes far enough. A beautiful fillet. Bennett caught that. It's gonna be heavy. Got it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do one more dessert using rhubarb and this fun little oven that we put on top of the stove. Okay, I'm making this wild berry muffin mix to put on top. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I'm bringing it over. Sweating, dying. Yeah. 
dehydration. Yes. Oh, good. Was, no, no, it's not dehydrated. It was dehydrated, and I feel like I, oh, I was fine. asking yep, Dad fine. what's yep. the word for yep, that's dehydrated. Fine. I'll take it. Like no water, and Dad's yes. dehydrated. Okay, I have some plates. Dad's here. on our team, that's so fine. that's true. Okay, that's a cobbler. Just so you know, it's got Buddy. rhubarb underneath it. Oh. So we need like a deep dish spoon. Okay, I was Buddy. thinking muffin. No, it's a. Um, so you don't need this, probably. No. Okay, a, a stone in a river. A river stone. A amoeba. A. I have no idea. Okay, an animal. It's like a little turtle. A seal. No. Porcupine. Back <laughs> Butter. Oh, thank you. It's always fun to end the night with a sweet little treat, whether it's in the cabin or out by a campfire or using the wooden stove, and we tried something new this time. We're trying something new tonight. I saw that these bananas were starting to get super ripe, so we are making banana boats and cooking them in the fire. I had heard of banana boats before, but we have never tried these. So we looked them up online and essentially you just cut a slit and then add in whatever you want. We just had the things that we had brought along for s'mores. So we put in a symphony bar and some cut up marshmallows. We also tried some Reese's peanut butter cups and then they go onto the coals in the fire. All right, stick it in there. Please come over here, Weston, so you can see. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, stick it in there on the coals. And I'm gonna grab this one out. We'll test this one. It's just been like a minute. Okay. Oh, the marshmallows. Need to cook a little bit more. The marshmallows are sticking to the. They didn't quite melt as much. I think it still. What's the stop banana it? Banana didn't cook it. You need it. No, I think it could go longer. Yeah, I think so too. Here, minute. Come try a bite. It's really hot. I don't know. Probably just warm. Can we stick to the butter? Let's have some banana boat before you go. Is it yummy? Oh, is it yummy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How can it not be good? Okay, I'll get a cake. Is it good? I don't like s'mores, right, but just this is dangerous. <laughs> all I have is a, okay, all I have is a banana. One more bite. The warm banana is like oh, super I'm yummy. All the things I've eaten, I don't think I've ever eaten this before. Good. Yeah, we're yummy. You've never ate mm. it before, but the crunchy you will nuts again. and poppy. Mm. I could even cook it a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. How are these? It's good. They braided it. We're going to do good. Like a little baby bird here. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> mommy! <Poppy, laughs> Thank you, hon. It's heaven in your mouth. That's how I describe mommy, it. Mommy! Mommy! More worms! Okay. Last bite. <laughs> Every time. Mark and Bennett were leaving on a fishing trip, so they got the first banana boat, and then the rest of us enjoyed trying these different flavors. They were so good. The kids thought that they were amazing. It was just a really fun discovery. I'm not sure why I ended up feeding everybody, probably because they could have gotten really, really messy, but Everett gave it a 10 out of 10, and I think this will be another special cabin treat on the menu. And I don't think we can have a trip to the cabin without Mark and Hunter and Bennett diving down and getting us some rock oysters to cook over the fire. Everybody enjoys tasting them. They have a really good smoky flavor. Mark's mom was very interested in them. So these boys have a lot of fun. They come running when the rock oysters are done. No one goes hungry while at the cabin. There's always something yummy to eat. Um, what is this on my face? Of course, it's the day we're leaving, but look at this weather. This is the weather we've been waiting for. And according to my 
phones, weather app. We get it today and tomorrow and then it's back to 40 degrees, 50 degrees at, during the day, 40 degrees at night. So today we're going to get on the ferry. We're driving. It's going to be a beautiful day for a drive and mark for flying. So we can be grateful for that. We're just wishing we had a day like this while we were here to enjoy the cabin. The wind's not blowing, the sun is shining. It's gorgeous. Just packing everything up right now, going out to get my computer from the bunkhouse. I've been charging it. I did not do as much editing as I had planned, but you know, it's just family time when you're at the cabin and it's hard to remember to go work. Well, we came with like five Costco bags of food, going home with a few apples, a few naan, and all the dirty sheets, but not much food. We ate well at the cabin. We had fun eating. Mark went and got the cooler and they filled it with the salmon from the freezer. So we're ready to take a couple trips over to the ferry. It's low tide, so we gotta go way out to load the boat. Okay, love you boys. Be good for dad. Mmm. See you Bye. -bye. <gasps> My Everett! Enjoy the sunshine. I'll see you tomorrow. No, you'll see me tonight. Oh. Thankfully, it's not tomorrow. What a peaceful morning. Thank you so much for spending a week with us at the cabin. We hope you enjoyed it. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that chooses to spend time with us. And we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life.